So my plans with this foot today is I'm going to clean it up, trim half the foot. I'm literally trimming it back to make it clean and tidy. So on this side, I'm going to take the wall down. I'm going to take away all the, the rubbish in here, clean up seat of corn, and I'm also going to trim the frog. I'm going to trim these flaps up. This side, I'm going to leave, and then I'm going to apply Hoof Doctor. Hoof Doctor is a product that has been designed to protect and maintain and help the equine foot. And this particular product in my hand is a, like a liquid and it's a bit like hoof oil and it smells divine. Now, when I first looked at this product, I was quite surprised at the smell. I wasn't too sure if I liked it or not. It almost smells like a smoky campfire. And at first I was thinking, oh, I don't know about this. But then as I started to use it more, I actually found I really liked it. And I felt like, I don't know, I felt like I was making a difference to my horse's feet. Now we know that you have to have a trim and the terrain and the feed and everything else. You can't just slather this stuff on and expect a miracle. This has got to work with everything else. So the purpose of using this today is that Hoof Doctor are one of my sponsors. So thank you, Hoof Doctor. First of all, for sending me these products for me to have a play with and have a look at and, and smell. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this product on the whole foot. So half of it's going to be trimmed. The other half is just going to be scrubbed. And then I'm going to put the product on all over the sole, the walls, the bars, the frog. Then I'm going to leave it on there at room temperature. I'm going to try and stimulate a little bit of movement. Now, it's going to be very difficult because this is not an intact foot. And so we have to bear that in mind that we are not comparing to a real life foot. But what I want to do is I want to see how much this product actually penetrates into the foot. Well, this is the half that I have trimmed and I'm going to say trim in inverted commas because I probably wouldn't do a trim like this on a live horse but what I want to do is get rid of all of the exfoliating material get back to the healthy hardish material and I haven't got through all of it there's still some around here this part here I had a lot of trouble it was almost as if the bar had actually come over and I was trying to get this material out here and to bring the bar back, but it's still a little bit high and I've got like this step here. So I thought, well, no, I'll leave it because in real life, would I bring that down anymore? I'm not sure whether I would. And this side I've left just as it is. I might've hit it with the rasp a few times when I was doing this side, but I think that I've managed to keep it all intact. The other thing I noticed is that this side of the collateral groove was very deep and full of muck and the frog was like was going over so I've trimmed back those frog flaps around here again I probably wouldn't trim it up as as harsh as this in real life but I wanted to give it a good chance and we've still got this frog flap here but can you see it's actually going over and this collateral groove is, is wider and there was hardly any rubbish in and muck down in there and down in here, it really stunk. So I'll be interested to see just how deep this goes, but I think we're looking at apples and pears really with these two sides, but we don't know what we're going to get. And we just need to think about where this product's going to go and how deep it's going to go. Now it says, give it a good shake. And I know that when my farrier put this on my horse, I don't think he shook it enough. And he was a bit mean with his, <laughs> His application, I wanted to snatch the brush away from him and put more on. <laughs> so it comes with its brush separately. And here's the liquid. Collateral grooves over the sole, over the hoof wall, heel and also the frog. So there we go. We have the product all over the wall, all over the sole, the frog, 
lateral grooves, heels. I'm going to leave this now as it would in a live horse. I'm going to start my timer now and we'll see how that is going to absorb just as it stands like this for a little while. And then in, in an hour or so, I'm going to start moving this foot around, put it in my bench press and start moving the bony column and try and get a little bit of movement. But remember, this is a cadaver foot. We cannot compare this with a live foot. So this is quite rudimentary. It's not your pure science, but I just wanted to see how much this penetrated. So this foot's just has been in the freezer for a few days now. I wanted it to be absolutely rock hard before I sliced it. So I'm going to slice the foot from the back all the way down and I want to see just how much penetration we have. As you can see, I've made my cuts from the back. One, two, three, four, five. Now, penetration doesn't mean good and it doesn't mean bad. It's just a question that I had. I was just quite intrigued to see how much it actually penetrated into the tissues, the, the dead tissues and maybe the live tissues. So let's just pop this open. Well, before we launch into what we're seeing here, this is actually a really beautiful section. Now, one thing that is critical to point out with this foot is how woefully inadequate the frog is. This looks like it's just shredded. It looks like it's all fallen apart. And this is what we call the frog stay or the frog spine. Now we want this to be a strong structure. We certainly don't want it to be falling apart like this. Now what has caused this? I would hazard a guess that this is thrush that's caused this breakage of the frog spine. Now it could be another condition known as sheared heels, but I wasn't quite sure that this horse had sheared heels. Yes, it's got a little bit of a, looks a bit high here compared to here, but if you look at the hairline, it's pretty flat. So I would hazard a guess that this is all thrushy infection in here, inside the frog spine. Now, the hoof doctor has gone right up into all here and I can actually see it all in there. Now it's gone a little bit white because what's happened is, is I've cleaned this with water and then it started to emulsify. I put a, a quite a big jet of water on it, but the hoof doctor treatment has gone right deep into here, which I'm actually very pleased to report. Has the product got into deep tissue into the clitoral grooves? Well, I actually think it has. I think it's got right up in there because this, uh, this hoof doctor, it's almost like tarry and black. You see, and it does seem to stain the foot quite dark. And so I would be pretty sure that what I'm seeing in there is some good penetration of the product right up in there in the collateral grooves. And so that to me, I think is going to probably help stop any infection or kill or kill any microbes up in there that we don't want, especially in line of this horrible frog. So let's have a look at the next slice in, which is this one here, which is going to be a mirror image of what we've just looked at. So it's not going to be much different, although it's going to be a saw blade thickness. So we're talking about probably two millimeters towards the front of the foot and the landscape changes a little bit, but you can still see just how damaged this frog is. And it's literally just breaking away. And the hoof doctor's got right up into there. I can see that right up into that frog stay. Now, I don't think I can see really any difference between the side that I trimmed and the side that I didn't, but I wouldn't have expected, I wouldn't have expected to have seen any difference, but I'm pretty, I'm quite pleased the way it's got right up in there. Very, very pleased. So let's have a look at the next slice in, which is literally, I'm going to turn this one over and this is going to give you quite a cool view. In this view, what we're seeing is where the wall and the bar comes together. So this is really the heel buttress. And there is quite a big gap through there. And if you look how much tissue we have before we hit sensitive tissue, it's actually quite frightening. So this is well due for a trim 
but also why have we lost so much tissue in here? If we look deep into here, and it's a bit hard for you to see, but the product, the Hoof Doctor has got right up into there. And if you look very carefully, it's quite brown in there. And so I would say that it's got right up into here, so it's going to kill all those microbes. If I just have a look here, this has still got some, looks like paddock rubbish in there, but it's covered in hoof doctor <laughs> as well. <laughs> Again, the frog is woefully inadequate. Let's have a look at the next slice in, which is this one here. So what we're looking at now is we're coming into the realms of the navicular bone. This is a navicular bone here. And if we look on this one, we can see it quite nicely. Now it is slightly skewed, and that is because the outside of the foot was skewed and the inside of the foot was skewed and so we haven't quite got it exactly the same on each side but let's have a look and see where the hoof doctor has penetrated now it seems to have gone right up into that part there which is great it also looks like it's gone right deep into this part here I'm just trying to get some views on that it's very hard because the it's very dark, but you see we've got lots of crevices and cracks that that treatment's going to get into there. And again, a woefully inadequate frog. And if you think about it, this is right underneath the navicular bone. A bit scary, really. Turn this round. So we're coming more towards the front of the foot now. Quite interestingly that the frog is actually skewing off to one side. And this is one of our collateral grooves here, and there's one here. Uh, can I see any hoof doctor in there? Yes, I can. I can see all this black in here is where the hoof doctor's got right up into that crevice, which is what I'd like to see. Let's have a look at this one, the next one in. And this is quite a cool view because what we're seeing is the bridge almost of the distal phalanx, the coffin bone now remember it's not quite exactly the same again because we've got a bit of skew going on here in the external foot interesting looking bar here and a funny looking bar here but how much has the hoof doctor penetrated yeah, it's gone right up into there right up into that point I can see it actually going through into the tissue that's what it looks like to me where we've got this little crack so it looks like where there are cracks and crevices, this product is, is really getting into them. Turn this round. Now you see we're getting almost to the front of the foot now. So this is our distal phalanx here. Tiny little remnant of digital cushion. This is frog again. And if you look, you can see it's quite dark in there. And so the product has got right up deep inside those crevices. And this is at the very front, really. You can just about see how much distal phalanx is there. And this is quite satisfying to see how brown this is in here. And I believe that is all the product that's got right up in there and has stained around in there. So I think that it's probably getting in quite well. And it's penetrated this really well. It looks like it's gone into the white line as well. And a little bit here. We've got a bit of coloration there as also where the white line is so i'll leave you to make your own conclusions these these are literally the slices where i've used the product and be happy to answer any questions anything you might like to bring to the table i'd be very interested to hear and if you can think about any more little experiments i can do with the product hoof doctor are sponsoring this video and so it would be really good if i can answer some more of your questions about the product by using it on cadaver slices now of course we've got to be realistic that cadaver slices are not real true life but we have to start somewhere and i'm also using this on my own ponies and horses and i'm actually quite happy about the product